Queen City News is your official home of the Carolina Panthers. And though the black and blue were at home on Sunday, it certainly didn't feel like it. Oh, lots of purple mm. in the stands at B of A as the Panthers lost to the Minnesota Vikings. And the Panthers now a disappointing 0-4 on the early season. Charlotte Sports Live's Grace Grill is at Bank of America. All right, so Grace, how's the team feeling after having a night to sleep on things? Yeah, well, they're not feeling great. I mean, nobody wants to start the season 0-4, and, and now they've got the reality of starting 0-6, staring them right in the faces. They still have two more games before that Week 7 bye, and they aren't going to be easy ones, as they got to go on the road to face the Detroit Lions and the Miami Dolphins. It's not going to be a walk in the park. The Panthers actually had their best opportunity to get their first win of the season on Sunday against the Vikings, who, like the Panthers, came into that game at 0-3. And Carolina's defense could not have given the offense a better jump on things, with Sam Franklin picking off Kirk Cousins on Minnesota's opening drive and taking it back 99 yards for the touchdown. They were also able to contain Justin Jefferson to under 100 yards, and they held Kirk Cousins to just 139. But the offense could not seem to get anything going with, 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 with rookie Bryce Young back under center. The growing pains are obvious and they are painful, but Frank Reich said today that he believes that they have the right guys in that locker room to stay together and be able to win now as they grow. I just I have a lot of confidence that no matter whether we win every game or lose every game, you know, this team um, and the players that are here, you know, know how to handle themselves and which is why I why I believe good things are ahead, why I believe um, these things that, you know, these four games that are, you know, we're in every game in the fourth quarter. Why I think, you know, like I said yesterday, in one respect, we're, we're this close and in others, you know, in other respects, we're making too many mistakes to even say that. But when we get those things corrected, I believe it can get the results that we want now. This doesn't have to be wait for results. We can get those results now. You talk about that kind of leadership that's in the locker room. I asked Sam Franklin, I said, how frustrating is is it for this defense when they are getting stops and they're even putting points on the board and he was not willing to budge he's like look this is a team sport we are together and just to show a little bit of that camaraderie sam franklin was seen leaving the locker room today with a big old box of pino grigio that he was given for scoring that touchdown so there definitely is still unity in that locker room we will hear from sam franklin and we talked to dj chark as well we'll have that coming up next hour guys a lot of fans probably want some of that wine right now, too, after the start. Grace, thanks. And if the Panthers want to make the playoffs this year after this kind of start, they're going to have to make some pretty big history. There has been just one team in the NFL history to make the playoffs after starting 0-4, and that would be the 1992 San Diego Chargers.